Hello people, today we're going to take this silver hood and turn it black. So today we're working on a 2009 Prius and uh, our only goal today is to make the silver hood black to match the rest of the car. Eventually this is going to be a total repaint. So we'll get into uh, more in depth on some of the things that we'll be doing with that. But uh, today, all we're doing is gonna make this silver hood black. And uh, I'm gonna do it with stuff that I've got sitting around already because I'm a broke joke and uh, that's how we do it around here. So I've got one can of uh, Rust-Oleum's Advanced Formula uh, Glossy Enamel, black, black not really too concerned about if it's black enough or not black enough but uh, yeah so we're gonna use that uh, what else we got we need to scuff up the paint so take uh, take a little red scotch bright that'll take care of that and uh, we've got we've got plenty of masking paper over there and plenty of paint so I am going to scuff up the hood because what is the very first thing that we do? Scuff the hood up to make sure there is no shiny on it, okay? No shiny. So I'm going to take this, scuff, the, scuff up the hood. It doesn't have any really deep scratches in it. I'm not really too worried about it anyways, uh, but the hood is fairly, uh, fairly good shape. It's just the wrong color. So I'm going to scratch it up, uh, get it all scuffed up and dull and uh i'll turn you back on. okay one quick thing a lot of these cars have obviously they've got an emblem on the hood this is no different obviously uh quick easy way to get the emblem off the hood without breaking it hopefully is uh with one of these little exacto knives uh, you can get them for usually a dollar or maybe even less uh i like to Take the knife, get enough blade out to where you can kind of get in there, but you don't have to put a whole lot of a whole lot of pressure on there. These things are these things are pretty uh, pretty sharp. I've already got this most of the way. Um, now, if you run into a spot where you feel like you can't go any further, don't. Okay, it's. I'm assuming that this has probably got a couple of guide holes uh, that will uh, be drilled into the into the hood itself to show you where to. Yep. On the back of the emblem, I don't know if you can see, but on the back of the emblem, we've got a couple of guide holes. So you don't want to keep forcing that. You want to leave those on there. That way, once we're done painting, uh, you know we'll sand all this off. But once we're done painting we can get some adhesive and put it right back on. So, there's that in case you were wondering. Now you may be wondering what I use to get all of the uh, adhesive off, uh, double-sided tape, whatever the hell it is. Um, pretty simple. I use uh, the same solution. If you've watched any of my other videos, or at least my last video, uh, I'm staying away from the wax and tar remover to a point. Uh, just not real sure how well it's reacting with some of these paints. Um, but I've got an alcohol and water mix in here. Probably 10 or 30% uh, alcohol, 70% water, something like that. Uh, just literally spray it on. Use a, use a flat blade and uh, keep it wet. That way we're hopefully not gouging into the gouging into the paint um, and then we're just that's all we're doing so we're just keeping it wet take your time I would stay away from uh, like goo gone and whatnot because I'm sure that's gonna leave some kind of a residual mess that is gonna want to react with the paint so I know for a fact this won't because this is how I prep. This is how I'm going to actually prep this hood after I've got it sanded. So 
Uh, before I do anything, I'm gonna spray it down with the alcohol, okay, dry it off. Then we're gonna sand it, then we're gonna spray it down again. Uh, theoretically, I would tack cloth it, but I went down to AutoZone, they don't have any tack cloths down there for some reason, so I'm gonna try to wing it and figure out a different way to uh, get this thing as smooth as possible. So, again, cutting corners. However, this is really inexpensive, and uh, I hope to have this whole thing done within a couple hours. It is uh, right now 6.40. I think I started this about 15 minutes ago. So we're gonna keep track of how long this takes and uh, you can get some pretty decent results fairly cheap and uh, fairly quickly. Just gotta be, just gotta be thorough. So cut you off because I'm sure you don't wanna watch this. All right, come on time crunch. I'm gonna cheat. I do have a piece of 320 sitting around. Uh, so I'm going to take that with a flexible, flexible uh, pad and just stuck it right to it. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this up. We don't need to take paint off. We just need to scuff it up. Okay, so it's not going to take too long. I'm on time crunch. Uh, I want to get this thing done. That way it's got some time to cure tonight. That way I want to take it to the new owner which will be announced at some point. Uh, they'll have a, a one color car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this done, show you the results right before I wipe it down and uh, we'll be right back. All right, for the most part, I think we've got most of the sanding done. We'll find out here after I spray it down. Just spray it down with some rubbing alcohol and water. Literally about the cheapest thing you can use, and it'll get it clean. I've got to get this thing done and sprayed so I can go inside and vacuum the floor, dust some tables, and do my little nightly chores. Definitely want to be the type of guy that helps around the house. So, little words of advice. Help around the house. Don't be afraid of the vacuum. It's not gonna bite you. Might even get you some brownie points here and there. It'll be okay. Now, I also made sure when I was sanding that I got along this this lip over here too okay so uh, what you don't want is for your paint uh, to not stick on the lip and then it looks like shit then you got all your buddies going oh, nice paint job man oh. so definitely make sure that everything gets scuffed up at least just gives your paint something to bond to when you scuff it up you're taking off that that very top layer and giving that paint something to something to bite to. Uh, it's not gonna bite to just clear coat without being prepped. It's not gonna bite to clear coat uh, or paint for that matter without it being scuffed up. So you just it it may feel smooth at this point, but really it's got a lot of little scratches in there, obviously, and that's what helps the paint bond to that. Okay, so. Anytime you take your car to Mako or any of these uh, inexpensive shops that are going to paint your car for three or four hundred bucks, it's exactly what they're doing. They're taking a DA with some 300 grit, 320, whatever, run over it really quick just to scuff it up so that the paint will stick, and it does it. Uh, had a had a car painted at Mako years and years and years ago, and it uh, this full three hundred dollar paint job. That thing held up great, but you know, it's all in the prep. So cheap paint will last. So you just gotta prep it right. Uh, if you don't, it's gonna flake off and look like shit. So uh, let me go ahead and um, get this thing masked up. I'm not gonna mask up the entire car because I'm just painting the hood, but uh, I definitely wanna get most of it 
messed up here so let me get that done it is currently 705 all right well here we go it's time to paint got everything masked off as much as I'm going to um, I got it uh, sanded down got it wiped down a couple times uh, didn't have a tack cloth but I did make sure that I took a uh, some paper towel and sprayed a little bit of uh, the solution of water and uh, alcohol on it and wiped it down real good one more time feels like it's pretty uh, pretty smooth uh, got everything blown out all the sand and dust and stuff I got that blown out so hopefully this will turn out pretty decent we'll see um, you never know uh, but yeah so uh, I got our advanced formula rust-oleum it's like five bucks a can like I said all we're trying to do tonight is just get this thing looking black so uh, and hopefully hopefully it'll be shiny so what we're gonna do first I'm gonna go around all of my uh, all of my edges to make sure that we've got those real good and uh, then I'll put a nice uh, nice little tack coat on there so it won't be real uh, won't be real heavy the first coat uh, also make sure that you tape off or even better yet uh, take off your windshield washer nozzles your little spouts there uh, hoods going black they're black so I didn't think it would be too big of a deal if I got a little bit on them but uh, I think they're taped up pretty good and uh, here we go so I got my respirator because uh, I don't feel like blowing out black snot bubbles for the rest of the night so here we go I've also got the hood propped up with the can of orange rust-oleum paint uh, that just helps me get to all of the edges first then we can drop it down and get to everything else. Here we go. Not too worried about coverage at this point. Just want to give it something to something to tack to. So there we go. There's our first coat. I'm gonna let this tack up for about five minutes, and we'll be back. And it is 7:30. All right, here we go. I'll put a little bit heavier coat on the second coat. Going to do about a 50% overlap. That way we keep a nice wet edge.
All right, there's coat number two. All right, it should be, I don't know why I was talking with that thing on earlier. It should be the last coat. Three coats, should do it. Um, I don't want to run out in the middle of spraying because I am going to be doing all the way across, okay? Uh, so I grabbed another can. Now this is a different type of spray nozzle, uh, but it is Rust-Oleum's Universal Advanced Formula, gloss black, so uh, same paint, just out of a different can. I like the way these things spray if they're spraying well, but about 50% of them don't spray worth the shit. Hopefully this one will, otherwise I'll be custom. All right, here we go. And this is exactly why I don't like using these. I got a big drip on the paint. So, take this piece of shit can right in the garbage. That's where it belongs. Right in the freaking garbage. Got all over my hand. It's what I had left. Black paint. All over my hand. Dripped on the paint be able to wet sand it out but it's just frustrating I really like the way those cans spray but they always screw up every single time so stay away from those they spray really nice but they don't so I'm gonna wait until uh, the morning come back out here after everything's dried up quite a bit and uh, so we're not gonna mess with any more tonight we got three good coats on there got a nice uh, nice coat of paint on there so We'll see how she flattens out. The Rust-Oleum paint, it's five bucks a can. You know, you're gonna get some orange peel. This isn't gonna be a uh, show quality paint job, man. But to put some decent color on something uh, fairly quickly and fairly inexpensive, you know, you're good. So, uh, I'm gonna let that dry tonight and uh, we'll come back out here in the morning and see how she looks. See you in the morning. Good night. All right, guys. I wasn't joking. I really am going to come in here. Uh, fiance is gone. I told her not to worry about uh, vacuuming and dusting, so I'm going to take care of it. Now, real quick, Swiffer dusters. Awesome. These things are great. So you take your little uh, handle. If you're a guy and you don't like to dust, this actually kind of makes it fun. You just uh, slide it in. Yep, that's all you gotta do. Slide it in, then uh, you know, dust away. Here, I'll I'll show you how to how to dust. Okay. Dust away. Pick things up, move them around. You know, don't just don't just dust around things. Uh, you gotta pick things up. And actually, do a good job. Okay, see, dust, TV, dust the TV, 
Okay. So when you say, honey, I'm gonna go ahead and dust, don't do a crap job. Do a nice job with it, okay? So we're waiting on our paint to dry. You can dust, you can do some other stuff. You don't have to come in and go, oh, I'm whipped. I got a headache, man, I inhaled too many fumes. I do have a headache and somehow I inhaled too many fumes, but that's because right after I was done painting, what did I do? Took my respirator off, started talking to you guys. So y'all gave me a headache. Anyways, I'm dusting. Then I'm gonna take this here thing, the vacuum cleaner, okay? Plugs in, move it around. I kinda like to think of it as a car, okay? You can make vroom vroom noises with it if you want. Make, make act like it's a Corvette. Uh, Dax hates the vacuum for some reason. Tries to attack it every single time. Uh, so I usually have to lock him up. But I'll give you a demonstration of that here real quick. And then uh, in the morning, you know, we'll check out our, our paint job. Okay, real quick, gonna give you a quick demonstration. Men, how to vacuum, okay? I like to hold the cord about right here, okay? Don't wanna just leave it leave it dangling because you're gonna keep running it over. That's irritating. The whole cord up here, okay? You're gonna release this handle part, okay? Release the handle. That way you can, you know, you're working your pecs, okay? You're getting buff, think about that, okay? Then, instead of doing like I'm doing, just moving it around, little red button down here, you turn it on. Hey, there we go. Okay, move it along. Back to my feet. Okay. Boom, boom, it's a Camaro. Boom. Boom, it's a new mid-engine Corvette. Go all around the room with it. Okay? You can do, you can move it around. You can point it in different directions. It's kind of cool. Okay. And all your stuff goes into this little reservoir here, and then you can pick it up and empty it into the trash when you're done. But I'm not done. Okay. So quick tutorial. There you have it. Okay. How to vacuum, guys. Brownie points. When you're painting stuff and doing stuff out in the garage, women are like, oh, it stinks, paint especially. Oh my God, it stinks so bad. Oh, you got the house stinking so bad, blah, blah, blah. Baby, I vacuumed and I dusted. Okay, there, there you go. I vacuumed and I dusted. Okay, spray some air freshener around. You're good to go. You won't be in as much trouble, okay? Anyway, even if you're not vacuuming, or uh, even if you're not painting, you're doing something around, you know, doing something uh, that's going to piss her off, do this stuff, you guys. It is so easy. So easy to just vacuum. Dust. Do the dishes. Clean up after yourselves. Don't pee on the toilet seat. Put the toilet seat down. Okay? Do all these little cute little funny things that make women happy. You're welcome. Okay, so you thought you were just going to learn how to paint something, now you're getting some life lessons here, okay? Life lessons, people. Life lessons, okay? You see what I'm saying? Happy wife, happy life. You heard of that before? It's the truth, okay? Okay? Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to call this video done. It's still uh, tonight, and uh, it's about 20 after 8, okay? So we got that done in a couple hours. And uh, that's with dusting and vacuuming and uh, picking up the dog's bones that I bought them that they chewed up and they're everywhere. So that's with uh, doing some good chores and getting some brownie points and being a good mate uh, or just not a sloppy bastard, okay? Um, so here's the paint. Uh, it's going to look a little bit better in the morning because it's still flashing. Uh, but you know, I mean, that's a pretty decent shine there. Uh, we're not going to clear coat this because like I said, it's, uh, it's going to get a total repaint job. Um, 
but yeah I mean we got dirt in it I'm in a garage it's a dirty garage so yeah it's gonna have dirt so you know nitpick that if you want I don't care but uh, man it's black and uh, it's uh, you know pretty decent match black on black uh, the only thing that I have not done yet is uh, put the Toyota emblem back on. I'll do that once it dries a little bit more. Uh, put some put some double-sided tape on there. Cut it out with the little X-Acto knife. Pop it on. Good to go. So, there you have it, guys. There's my nice little... Hi. We got a nice glossy paint job. Done, it's not the greatest, but the rest of the car isn't the greatest either. So uh, eventually we will get it all painted and uh, do a little bit more in depth on the prep. But man, I think pretty. I think it turned out pretty good. I did get a little bit of a sag right in there. Uh, got a little heavy with the with the paint. Shit happens. Good wet sand and buff. Take most of that out. Uh, and then there's there's the drip. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the there's where it drips. But black is a really really hard color to paint, man. Really hard to paint. Um, and uh, in order to not tiger stripe, which I don't think we've got any tiger stripes in this thing, so happy about that. Uh, I can deal with the other little flaws. Uh, like I said, if this were going to be a final paint job. I probably would have taken some more precautions, whatever, but right now the whole car will uh, look like it's supposed to for the most part. And uh, so tomorrow, take it outside, clean it up, and uh, take it over there to her and see what she thinks. So there we have it. Now her Prius is all black and uh, she can go and get her 50 miles to the gallon and uh, be a happy camper. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, I don't know why you wouldn't like it. But if you don't, hit the thumbs down. It's whatever. You know, it's interactions. It's what I need. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you, uh, if you like. I would appreciate it. Uh, say hi. You know, whatever. Uh, relatively small channel still. So, uh, But I enjoy what I do. So, I'll still keep doing it whether or not nobody likes it or anything because uh, it's fun and I like to paint stuff and I like to help people out so uh, there you have it like it please subscribe please comment you know hey man you're a crappy painter all right cool thanks uh, hey man great paint job whatever you know it's not a great paint job but it's uh, definitely better than what it was so again have a good night peace out and uh, go vacuum do something. Uh, clean the toilet. You know? Do something. Bye.